They cancel all music. They cancel all music. Not just hip hop. All that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Tell. Uh, oh, damn. I'll be going. Damn, I can't. Even show. It's growing. It's growing weed, Trevor. Shit. Yeah, I, mean, I guess so. That still got something to do with weed. I'll be that now. I'll be a pharmacist. <laughs> I'll be, I'll be sticking away. I'll be selling drugs. Oh so wait, but there's a will, there's a way. I'll be a pharmacist. <laughs> Respect. I'll be a pharmacist. And this scarf for the motherfucking plug, the savior of trap music, trap Jesus himself. And I'm tuned in with Taco TV. Here to live my truth. This nigga Taco Tuesday sneaking, yeah, man. sneaking the interview. It's Lil' 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 Lil'
the epitome of a dope boy, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying, a real hustle, like, he would hustle anything, like, not in a bad way, in a yeah. very good way, like, he's a real entrepreneur, and, like, that shit is just amazing to see, you know what I'm saying, because he's been in the streets, and you can see that you can't be through every stage, like, whatever he not touching no more, but he done been through every stage and succeeded, he'll put it down and got yeah. there, now he with the code, he gonna master that shit, and he gonna, I know he gonna buy something else, you know what I'm saying, he gonna do something different, that ain't just gonna be, you know what I'm saying, and it's just, it's just amazing to see, he just kept that same dope boy formula, he just kept applying it, you know what I'm saying, he did it from the streets to the, this, to that, to this, now he on the clothes, and he just the same formula, same trapping formula, only a few of us know it, you know what I'm saying, that bitch is like the God formula, you know what I'm saying, like, uh, the shit off uh Goodwill Hunting, you know what I'm saying? Only a couple people know that motherfucker, you dig what I'm saying? But once you master the formula, you just can keep applying it to anything you want to in life. Nah, you that, succeed. That's critical. That's critical. Was he working on Dope Boy when I was down in Atlanta with you? Um I don't know. I do know I was one of the first niggas with that shit on. For sure. That's that's a <laughs> yeah, fact. I knew know it. When he had it on his back. I was like, bro, I need that right yeah. now. He sent me to the place that he got it made from. Yeah. And I got it, and I got it my own one made. Like, he ain't even have a facility. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I do, I do know for a fact I was the first nigga, you know what I'm saying, with that shit on. He real dope, boy. Yeah. Nah, for real. Can we expect a tape with you, T. Wall, Famous, Peso? No? Well, probably not. Oh, it's to be in it. Yeah, yeah, everybody know what I'm saying, baby, just to be honest. Respect. Yeah, I don't know. I think, I think a lot of people will like that. I like that. I know it, but I don't know. Yeah, respect. It's um, cool, though. I would love it. Definitely, we probably get a war tape, though, if you're famous yeah. in the uh, you know what I'm saying? Definitely give me a pace of tape. I don't yeah. know if everybody's going to come together. I don't know if that, 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 that just, that, that, that arrow might just be dead. Man. Yeah, respect. Um, I would love to see it happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. Like, everybody love to see it. That's just crazy. Like everybody, that, heck, everybody. I mean, not. I'm just saying, back in the day, yeah. like everybody, how it was. That shit never got down happen. Yeah, that would have been. That would have been. We would have been the biggest thing in the world. Do you right want to talk about that? No, man, it's that shit over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all <laughs> I'm about to say. I ain't even. No point in got that shit. What's some ways that you got your money working for you? Mm. Outside of trap. Right now, I'm trying to goddamn buy a farm. That's my goal. I'm gonna buy a farm and get this goddamn, get this farm going. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Respect about how many how many acres you looking for? Like, what's your target number? Okay, I'm I'm cool with this. Shit, about uh, five to ten acres would be fine. That's yeah. a that's a good start. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Five to ten acres would be fine. Get a good growth farm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Dang, it's not that much too. I just I wish. I wish goddamn the Atlanta would legalize weed, marijuana for recreational purposes. Yeah. That shit would um, change the world. Yeah. Change my world at least. I was gonna say when when I say black excellence, what do you think about? Who do I think about or what do I think? What do you think about? Like what's some things that check off the box for okay? Yeah, that, that fit into that category. Well, cause of course, financial freedom. For Can't sure. do nothing without being financially free. I guess, um, having credit, I guess, you know what I'm saying? I guess that might find that fall in the finances, uh, that was excellent. Being a, a, a pillar in your community, that's why I've been doing a lot of, uh, community, community service every Sunday. Yeah. Still, every Sunday. Um, every Sunday. I might actually yeah, do right here while I'm in D.C. I'll be thinking about doing one tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. respect. So just, you know, every, every Sunday. Um, every Sunday, been giving back. Giving back as much as I can. Uh, clothes, shoes, yeah. blankets, it's cold, um, food, of course. Yeah, respect. Um, so, yeah, being a pillar in the community, I think about that. I mean, I think about black excellence having respect like being respected in the streets like you gotta have you gotta be in tune with the streets because they you know what i'm saying those is they the heartbeat of, of our culture you know what i'm saying yeah. as of right now you know what i'm saying because we not like any other other race you know what i'm saying so yeah. i think you know what i'm saying people like like jay-z yeah. how he got respect that's probably the best that's that's like he's like excellent in my eyes because he got respect from the 
Jewish and the whites and the, and yeah. they, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people in the streets, you know, just in the streets respect Jay Z. Yeah. Um. Yeah, he's the one. He's one of the few. I like. I like. Uh. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about Fifty Cent. I don't know because they. Like, it's like too many people be having rap, like rap, rap, rap yeah. shit attached to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, so I don't know. Respect. What does happiness look like for you? Having is just a just a peace, like a not, not a word. Like I feel like I, like right now, I feel like it's always a word. Like you know, what I'm saying it's always a word around the corner. I might not even know. I really don't even know what it is, but I know like damn, you know something saying? liable to happen. I, 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 like, damn, I always like, <laughs> I always, damn, so something about to happen. I yeah. already know it's coming. <laughs> Respect. It's always a worry on the way. Like, what's the next problem? Like, that's all we, we just. I'm just like every day is solving problems every single day. So, yeah, a day a day with a lot with uh, less problems. Yo, you see, I like. Them. Hey, yeah, a day with no problems. No yeah. problems right now. No problems at all. If they um, no problems. Just one day, no one day with no problems. If they cancel all the music. What would you be doing other than trapping? Mm. Damn. They cancel all music. They and cancel trapping? all music. Not just hip hop. All that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Tell. Uh oh. Damn, I'll be going. Damn, I can't trip. It's growing, it's growing weed, trapping. Yeah, I, mean, I guess so. That still got something to do with weed. <laughs> I'll be back then. I'll be a pharmacist. <laughs> I'll be, I'll be, wait, I'll be selling drugs. Oh wait, when there's a will, there's a way. I'll be a pharmacist. <laughs> I'll be a pharmacist. That's exactly what I'll be. Selling lean over the counter. Um, what's the biggest sacrifice you've made involving music? Um, yeah. Right now, the only time, like, time people, people, time yeah. with people, spending time with people, as of now, right now, other than that, you know what I'm saying, I'm focused, you know, just, just, everything is always serious, you know what I'm saying, no time to be relaxed, you know what I'm saying, everything I say might look all like funny, like we having fun, but it's always, like, we always working, so, yeah. just time, you know what I'm saying, time to be leaving, time to be leaving. I never have a time with my, my phone. I never have a day with my phone no ring. I just, I'm just in the house all day. Right? That's a fact. Yeah. So just like time with myself and shit like that. But it's cool. I don't need that shit. That's my biggest sacrifice as far as this, this time. How has uh, Trap Jesus been separate compared to all other projects? I feel like this is a this is my first complete project. Every every bar, every word, every goddamn line. You know what I'm saying? I took my time with it. I went through every single one. Goddamn. Uh, I just feel like it's, I can see. I can actually see like my like, number wise. I can see everything. I can see the growth. I can see the yeah. start of from. I can, I can see the start of the foundation of a real solid a uh, new room. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the building blocks of new room is um is taking the time out to make sure every song is complete and finish and hit the standards. Is that the difference between a mixtape and an album? Yes, definitely. That's why it took so long to put this song, this, this, this uh, project out. Yeah. That's why exactly why it took so long. It took for a whole year. Yeah. From the time I was released down there. Definitely a full year. But I definitely think it was worth it. It's definitely a well-crafted project. And, you know, yeah, you, I can, definitely you can tell. Feel like, yeah, as soon as it hit, touch the ears, it's going to got dang, if the track is going to be there. <clears throat> like this ain't this, the next album. What would Jesus do? Yeah. Why? Yeah. <laughs> respect. Respect. Why do you stall plays? Shit, because there's too many of them at one time. Okay. I just got. I'll be on the way. Okay. I'm always on the way. Okay. Okay. Respect. <laughs> I'm on that one way. Respect. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. always on the way. Shit. I'm on the way. I'm always on the way. Um. What's something that you would say that you need to work on internally, separate from like, from rap? Like for me, I feel like mine would probably be like procrastination. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'd be yeah. having a lot of shit. I, I think mine would be slowing down. That's crazy. Oh, you be going too fast? Nigga, what? I just... Damn. 
Joe, head first. Fuck you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going head first all the time. That and communication. Okay. I I, I tend to goddamn just talk to stick to myself and like you know what I'm saying, try to figure shit out all by myself. But I feel like maybe if I communicate more with people yeah. that's around me, maybe shit would go, go, go a lot more smoother. See, I feel like that's why I procrastinate because I be needing a, a couple more pieces or I needed to look a certain way or I wanted to perform a certain way. So I'm like, I ain't even going to jump into that until I got at least 60% nah, of one it. Thing, one thing I do, I do every, a lot of shit. I, I walk by faith, like blind faith. Like sometimes yeah. I just, fuck it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nah, I'd be fuck like it. that. Fuck how it turn up. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Right, fuck how it turned out. That's what sometimes you just jump head first in the situations and you know what I'm saying? Be blind faith, but. Yeah. It is what it is. 